in today's video, we focus on the idea of flow, and specifically its application as learned from Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, and most famously exemplified in his work, the Tao Te Ching. After the Bible, the Tao Te Ching is the most widely translated book in the world, and in my opinion, a must read for anyone and everyone, teaching us about a way of life which will lead to greater harmony and less conflict. Interestingly, Lao Tzu, or Lao Tzu, or Lao Tse, may not have been a real figure in history at all, with many scholars suggesting that he himself was nothing more than a legendary character and the Tao Te Ching is a compilation of work of various writers. Whether he was real or not, the principal ideas of the Tao Te Ching are very much real and provide incredible value and insight into how we can live life in flow with the way. So, Let's not waste time, and instead understand a little more about flow, as taught in the Tao Te Ching. What is Tao? In Taoism, the central tenet is the concept of Tao, which signifies way, root, or path. In Eastern philosophy, Tao is identified as the natural order of the universe, where as individuals we must discern it in order to realise the potential for individual wisdom. The Tao is eternally nameless, separate to the named things that act as manifestations of the Tao. What this means is the Tao goes beyond what we sense or feel, with those things being the manifestations of the Tao. Therefore, Tao is often most thought of as being the natural flow of the universe, which fundamentally maintains balance and order. So now that we have an idea of the Tao being the way, how do our actions fit with this? Wu Wei The idea behind Wu Wei is one of effortless action, and stems from Confucianism and the spring and autumn period in Chinese history. The point about Wu Wei is to use energy in flow with the Tao, so to work in harmony rather than in conflict. Lao Tzu in this regard describes it as returning to the primordial mother not forcing change in life, but rather becoming like uncarved wood, formed naturally and in flow with nature. And this is a key concept in the Tao Te Ching, and with the idea of flow, that we need to work in harmony with the Tao, in order to live life in a way where we use our energy in the most efficient and effective way to yield the greatest results. This concept is commonly understood in various ways, whether we talk about the karmic law, or even new age ideas such as law of vibration and law of attraction. The flow of water Now that we understand a fundamental concept behind Taoism and the principal idea of Wu Wei, how can we better understand what it means to be in flow with the Wei? Well, Taoist teachings often use the example of water as beyond its serene nature, it is in flow at all times, adapting and taking the form or shape of the space it inhabits. This idea is where the infamous quote from Bruce Lee came from, when he said, I said Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. This example goes beyond just flowing like water. Rather, we can also use the example of water in a way which exemplifies what it's like to be in flow or against the flow of Tao. Imagine being out at sea and you're swimming. What is the most efficient use of energy? Obviously, to swim against the current rather than with it is more exhausting and you'll travel a shorter distance too. To flow with the current in this regard is likely to move you the greatest distance with the least effort. That's how it is with Tao. In the modern world, we often admire those who seemingly fight against all odds to achieve results. What we don't realise is that many of them actually apply the principles discussed. Applying Wu Wei As previously mentioned, we often think that people don't apply flow and rather use confrontation to achieve results, which would be to only view the surface level energy behind the motivations of the individuals. Take Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the most successful online entrepreneurs today, and famous the world over. Many know his story, he came from an immigrant background and struggled in school when young. 
people would describe his story as one where he overcame his challenges to achieve his success. However, when you look past what you see and understand his mindset, the story is quite different. He struggled in school, but he admits he's always felt to be an entrepreneur at heart, with it being his natural state of comfort and pleasure. He also ascribes to the idea of self-awareness, that by knowing yourself and who you are, you're more likely to find pleasure in life. This is a critical point to understand. To understand the application of Wu Wei means to understand your resonance to Tao, being in flow with your nature and using it to live life in a way that's in harmony with nature, both physical and spiritual. Instead, where most of us fail is our understanding of life is that we must adhere to certain principles to achieve what is deemed as success. We must get an education in a subject we don't care for, in order to get a desk job working 9 to 5, if you're lucky, usually with unpaid hours of work to avoid falling behind, or so that we can earn just a little extra to pay for a nice house and car to show the world we're happy, when the reality is that inside we detest how we live and act it out in ways that are to the detriment to those we love. The harsh reality is that this is truly when you're trying to fight the way, or the flow of Tao. This is to swim against the current, rather than identifying who you are and your being and thus working in harmony with nature. Knowing when to act and when not to. So with all that's been said about understanding Tao and the principle behind Wu Wei, how do we apply it in our lives? Well, the key is knowing when to act, but also how to act. You see, this whole principle isn't to say that you shouldn't take action and just go with the flow, rather you should take action, even massive action, but it's got to be in line with now, with who you are, and with the natural flow of energy in the world around you. When you act, it's because you love the action and know its value without necessarily acting in the desire of what you might get in return. Alan Watts has explained this extremely well in some of his talks, he says that we should do what we love without focusing on money, because it's in doing what you love that you'll take the time and have the attention to eventually master it. When you become a master, you can soon learn to monetize what you are skilled in. Sure it might not earn you the living that Gary Vee has in digital marketing, but to be able to do what you love and find meaningful, surely it's a compromise that's worth making right? So, follow the ideas of the Tao Te Ching, understand the Tao and using Wu Wei to live life in harmony with nature. After all, the following passage from the Tao Te Ching really explains why you should. The sage is occupied with the unspoken, and acts without effort, teaching without verbosity, producing without possessing, creating with regard to result, claiming nothing, the sage has nothing to lose. Have you read the Tao Te Ching? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.